thumbnails may be the reason why people are actually clicking on your video. Whenever you are uploading a video to YouTube, you want to make sure you take the time to fully search engine optimize those videos. And one of the steps is making sure you have a customized thumbnail. Whenever you upload a video to YouTube, you're always given those three terrible options to choose from, and you never really want to choose any of them. Instead, you want to upload a custom thumbnail that maybe you created on Photoshop or Canva, or you can create a thumbnail right on the system using TubeBuddy. Make sure you already have TubeBuddy installed into your browser. And then when you go to your video, you will simply be able to scroll down until you see create thumbnail. So you're going to see TB create thumbnail. We'll go ahead and we're going to choose a still frame from the video. Typically, there is a frame where maybe you have a smile, maybe you have uh, where you're showing off a product. A lot of times we will play with using the title and then adding a picture to that. You can simply uh, click continue, click on image, and then you can nicely insert an image of yourself. That totally works. For this particular video, since it was a review of a product, many times we like to show that we're actually having the product on hand in that video. And so for that instance, we would go back. We would then try to find a frame where we're holding the product up nicely. And obviously that's not a good looking face. And so you might want to use the little arrows on the side to adjust frame by frame until you find a frame that you actually like. So we'll just go ahead and say that frame for right now. <laughs> and once you find a frame you like, notice that this one now does not have a title. And so instead of sharing an image, you may want to click on text, have exciting text that will capture people's attention. Um, for the free account, you're only given a few different options for your font. However, if you pay for a TubeBuddy account, you can upload your own font. So that is something to consider. Go ahead and just default it to maybe medium and to a color that you think you would want. And then you would say add layer. Once you add layer, you can actually see the layer, click on it, make it larger, smaller, rotate it if you want. You know, you can then add a little bit of a stroke to it. That's when you can just add uh, additional elements to it and get a better idea of what it's actually going to look like. And you can continue editing it until it is what you want it to be. And so once you are happy with the thumbnail, say continue, and it's going to show you what that thumbnail looks like in comparison to other videos with a similar title. Ideally, you want your thumbnail to stand out. You want your thumbnail to show a smiling face or a facial expression of some sort, and you want your thumbnail to have a titling. Those are the two elements that make for a good thumbnail, a person's image and text that is going to let people know what that video is about. Once you're happy, you would say save and continue, and that would then be your thumbnail. It's as simple as that. And so again, when you are creating thumbnails for your videos, make sure it has a spokesperson on there and make sure it has some text. I really hope this video was helpful for you to always see our videos. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and then click on the bell so you're notified every Friday at 5 p.m. Arizona time that a new video has been posted. For one-to-one -one training or just to support our content, please click above and connect with us on our Patreon page. If you still need assistance creating quality thumbnails, don't hesitate to reach out to us. We'd be more than happy to help.